what, what the mate is talking about. Yeah. What's up, family? In the wake of nationwide protest triggered by the murder of George Floyd, a black man strangled to death by four Minneapolis police officers. T.I. and Killer Mike made a plea to save Atlanta. Let's start with T.I. T.I. said when you can't go to New York, L.A., Detroit, St. Louis, Alabama, and be treated right, you can come to Atlanta. He said Atlanta is a place of prosperity for black people. They had no business trying to burn their own home down. T.I. said, Atlanta to them is a Wakanda. Killer Mike stepped up and he said that, look, I have family members who were police officers. I am the son of a police officer. He recalled the days when Black police officers had to, had to dress at the YMCA because white officers did not want to be in the same dressing room space with them. Killer Mike talked about how blacks in Atlanta could not possibly be from Atlanta and treat that city the way it has by burning their own home. He said, because Atlanta has been too good to black people. To further their point about why Atlanta should not be vandalized or looted, T.I., or it could have been Killer Mike, I'm not sure, but the point was made that corrupt cops who were exposed in Atlanta gets punished with greater frequency than corrupt cops in other cities around the nation. Now, both went ahead and said, look, Atlanta is not perfect. Now, we know Atlanta ain't perfect because it's in America. He said Atlanta is not perfect. Both said Atlanta is not perfect. But boy, it's better than any other place in America. And I got to agree in terms of prosperity. I have to agree. There's a lot of prosperity in America in Atlanta for blacks. Now, they also uh, talked about how they're in the downtown Atlanta, the west side of Atlanta. There's over 50 businesses owned by black women. They're indiscriminately burning everything. Growing up, I was always taught, never shit where you lay your head. And I'm gonna go ahead on and extend that saying to gang members who destroy their communities, who ride around, shoot up the neighborhood, make it unsafe for the women and children. They need to be brought to task also. Now, they also acknowledge that we get your frustration, but man, this ain't it. Atlanta don't deserve this. Maybe some of the other cities deserve it, including Houston, but not Atlanta. Again, I gotta agree. You got some people like I believe it was Tory Lane said something about how he getting tired of his rich friends speaking on stuff like this because they're not in the streets and they don't know how it feels. Well, let me tell you something. I'm not in the streets either, but I've been in the streets. I'm not protesting either, but I have protested. I spent most of the 90s in the streets and protesting, fighting for justice. And here we are 
in 2020 in the same predicament. So I understand what it is. Sometimes when you are not in the thick of things, when you're not on ground zero, sometimes from a bird's eye view, you can scope out the action and think a little bit more clearly because you're not being traumatized by what's going on on the ground and all around. You're not, you, know, you can kind of peep it from a distance. Oftentimes you have to be on the ground to really get a sense of what's going on, to feel that energy. But I'm gonna disagree with anybody who says that just because you're not on the ground you can't relate to the people and to the struggle. T.I. And, and, and Killer Mike, they're, they're still very much involved in the communities that, that they serve in the communities that are in, in, in Atlanta. They're very much connected to the community. If it was some of the other cats that normally don't speak out on issues and stuff and stand up and take the hit, I would have some trepidation about what they have to say. But I got to give those cats the benefit of doubt anytime they speak on something because they do have something to lose. And they're always speaking up against injustice. If they were brand new freedom fighters, ah, but that's not these cats. And I'll tell you something else. Even if they were brand new freedom fighters, in this situation, we're talking about burning down Atlanta. I'm going to tell you this. I feel that anybody who has that type of attitude that think that's cool is wrong. So I wouldn't care who the messenger is in this situation. The truth don't care who tells it. No more talk. What the haters talking about?